How can global inequalities be addressed? Solutions that focus on income and wealth might come to mind, but to address these inequalities, we often need to plan solutions of foundational needs, non-monetary dimensions of education, health, social connections, and civic engagement. At Enactus NSCC Ivany Campus, we looked around at our neighborhoods and thought, how can we plant roots for equality? We first looked at the dimensions of health, and it was clear to us that we cannot work towards income and wealth when people are still hungry. An organization called Food Counts released a report that notes 20% of individuals living in the Halifax Regional Municipality experience food insecurity. The report also ranked Halifax the highest in food insecurity among the 33 largest Canadian cities. Within the Halifax Regional Municipality, the community of East Preston is referred to as a food desert and is in a rural black Nova Scotian community located 30 minutes outside of Halifax. How could we work with this community on a food security solution while promoting health, education, social connections, and civic engagement? Introducing Project Planting Roots, a social enterprise that uses a sell one, give one model making garden boxes. Planting Roots approach to the triple bottom line is as follows. Social, work with 10 to 15 youth from the East Preston Family Resource Center to build garden boxes. Planting Roots was advertised to the youth through email and the youth volunteered to participate during their after school program and on weekends. Our team will deliver weekly educational workshops on topics such as construction, climate action, food security, including growing and preserving food, marketing, and sales. Students will learn everything from using rainwater for their gardens to pricing the garden beds. We will create social connections between NSCC, our team, the youth, and another partner, the Deanery Project, a local non-for-profit organization with a focus on the environment, youth, community, natural building, and permaculture. The youth will be empowered to provide healthy food solutions for their community and will receive modest profits for the sale of the garden boxes. Financial. Build urban garden boxes for sale through social media and personal networks. The sale of each box covers the cost of two boxes being built, including a small compensation for the youth. On February 24th, after waiting for COVID protocols to ease, we built our prototype. We were able to confirm the cost of the garden box being $40, which includes transportation. We plan to sell our garden boxes for $100, which leaves $20 profit. This price is comparable, but slightly higher to what is on the market right now, but we are confident in our ability to sell our green product. With the help of the Northbridge Reducing Inequalities Project Accelerator, we were able to use the money received to cover the material costs to build our boxes. Finally, for environmental, reclaim cut trees that would have been chipped and burned to build our boxes, and by doing so, we also avoid the purchase of commercially sold wood. By building our boxes with reclaimed wood, we are able to keep 10 to 40 kilograms of CO2 from being emitted when a useful tree is left in the ground. A tree that is left to grow can sequester more carbon, so reclaiming wood has a huge impact. Each garden box that we will build uses 2.6 cubic feet of lumber and will divert roughly 72 kilograms of greenhouse gas emissions for the lifetime of the boxes, which is approximately 7 to 10 years. We will also educate a community on growing local food for local consumption and empower them to extend the longevity of their food. Research suggests that the average Canadian weighs 79 kilograms of household food each year. That adds up to 2.94 million metric tons of household food waste annually. While we know that growing food won't eliminate all food waste, a huge focus of our educational workshops will be on food preservation. We will teach easy recipes for pickling, fermenting, and freezing. Our project was also the recipient of a Samsung Technology Project Accelerator, and we used our partnership to provide freezers to the Deanery Project and the East Preston Family Resource Center. Our goal is to get the communities growing, preserving, and sharing food. The third climate action impact for planting roots relates to transportation. By using reclaimed wood and growing food locally, our project eliminates the waste of new lumber and produce needing to be moved. One of our garden beds should yield 60 pounds of food and will produce 20 beds this year. This is 1,200 pounds of food that does not need to be moved from the grocery store. Our beds weigh approximately 30 pounds without soil, so that's another 600 pounds that does not need to be moved as new lumber across provinces. With our prototype built, we have diverted 72 kilograms in greenhouse gas emissions, and by May 2022, we will have diverted 1,440. And also, by May, our workshops will be delivered and we'll have gardeners ready for planting. And what's next? More garden beds with more communities. Our partnership with the Deanery will provide access to materials for us to be able to continue to create community connections. With a focus on environment, we are growing a sustainable food security solution. We are Enactus NSCC Ivany Campus and we plan equality one root at a time.